Hi everybody, thank you so much for listening to this volunteer coordinator training. My name is Jessica Walter and I am our program coordinator here at Rebuilding Together Silicon Valley. So to begin, I want to give you a little bit of background on Rebuilding Together as a whole. Rebuilding Together wants safe homes and communities for everyone. We do critical home repairs for our neighbors in need through rebuilding days, monthly team builds, and our safe at home program. We were founded in 1991 and are part of a large network of over 160 affiliates across the nation that's been around since 1988. We serve people in need with disabilities and seniors as well as nonprofit facilities who have gone through our application process. That consists of a phone interview, home inspection, and review by our project selection committee. We do work all over Santa Clara County except Sunnyvale, Mountain View, Los Altos, and Palo Alto. Rebuilding Together covers all project costs and our clients pay nothing. Our costs are covered by volunteer labor like yourself and donated or reduced cost supplies and materials. Project costs are not tied to sponsorship. Sponsorship just determines the benefit that a sponsor receives. Projects are given budgets based on project needs, not sponsorship levels, to make it more equitable among homeowners. Here are some important dates that we want you to be aware of and start planning for now. So just so that you're aware, we do have an open date and a deadline for volunteer signups. So we want to make sure that your volunteers get signed up in the window and the deadline is typically about a month before rebuilding day ends. This is because we want to make sure that we have enough volunteers to fill all of the sites and make sure that all the work gets completed. The Thursday and Friday before rebuilding day, you will be able to pick up your project box and materials from our warehouse. So we will uh, get back to that a little bit later, but I want to make sure that you can plan for that. Also, after rebuilding day, you will have to return your project boxes and unused materials to our warehouse. So you can either do that um, the evening of rebuilding day or anytime the following week. We will also be having a volunteer appreciation event, and this is something that we just want you to have on your radar. So make sure to check your email for more information about the date and time so that you can communicate all of that to your volunteers. So let's go over your main responsibilities as a volunteer coordinator. Before rebuilding day, you will visit your project with your house captain where you will get to meet the homeowner, see the home you'll be working on, and see what work will be done. After that, you will help to determine the number of unskilled volunteers needed to make the project successful. Your main job before rebuilding day will then be to recruit your volunteers. You will instruct them to sign up online through the link we will send you. It will take them here and they will just need to click the sign up button. I have included another training to explain our volunteer center, which is what you see here, and the different tools you get as a volunteer coordinator. You will also need to recruit a social media coordinator who can focus on taking and posting pictures on rebuilding day. Make sure to keep your volunteers engaged and remind them of project details. We provide this document as a link on our sign-up page. Your volunteers will have access to it, but you can also use the information to send out reminders as you wish. Before rebuilding day, make sure to contact the homeowner to make sure that they have the date for rebuilding day and that they are prepared for volunteers to be in and around their home. Like I mentioned before, you will also be picking up your project box the Thursday or Friday before rebuilding day. Pickup will be between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. and you will get all of these items. They will fit in a car but tend to fill up a lot of space, so please plan accordingly. I want to point out a few things you will receive. The project sign is to put outside of your house. If you have a dumpster, make sure to post the dumpster guidelines on the side of it. We will also be giving you Rebuilding Together brochures to hand out to interested neighbors or anyone who comes by and asks for more information. So then, moving on to Rebuilding Day. You will first want to get there early to set up and check in on your homeowner. Uh, please also remember that we value safety first. So that means that our leaders are wearing different color shirts to differentiate themselves. You will need to post your safety poster somewhere where people can see it. You will also need to choose a safety captain to ensure safety all day long. 
Remember, if a job is in question, always choose the safe option. And we need to make sure all volunteers wear name tags. So there should be one on the front and one on the back like in the pictures, not blocking any logos. Another thing you will be doing on rebuilding day is running the check-in table in the morning. As volunteers arrive, you will check off their names on the left and give them a t-shirt and a name tag. As a reminder, anyone aged 14 to 17 must have a parent signature on their waiver. All volunteers must be at least 14 years old in order to volunteer. Have them sign a waiver before you give them a shirt or a name tag. Everyone must wear their t-shirt for safety reasons. Homeowners are instructed that anyone in a Rebuilding Together shirt is okay to be inside of their home. So please ensure that everybody is wearing it. Once most of your volunteers are there, you will participate in the morning kickoff with the house captain. You can see page 38 for more details, but it is where you introduce yourselves, rebuilding together, what you're doing, and explain some brief safety tips. Also, every project is assigned a photographer. So once yours gets there, make sure to cooperate with them for a group picture. This means have your sponsor sign out and make sure that everyone is in a rebuilding together shirt. During the day, keep volunteers engaged by ensuring everyone has a job at all times and people aren't just standing around. You will also arrange for pickup of pizzas at noon and coordinate a lunch break. We will give you a location to send a runner to and they will pick up the pizza from a Rebuilding Together representative. Throughout the day, remind volunteers to respect the homeowner. Occasionally, the homeowners will ask volunteers to do something extra that is not in our scope of work for the day. Instruct the volunteers to ask the house captain before doing any additional tasks requested by the homeowner. At the end of the day, you will conduct the final walkthrough with the homeowner and house captain and be the last to leave. After rebuilding day, you will need to return your project box supplies, signed waivers, and check-in sheets to Rebuilding Together's warehouse. Feel free to leave food and sodas with the homeowner. Also, submit any reimbursements or donation forms to us so we can make sure to have accurate records and get you reimbursed. If for some reason you have a difficult or unpredictable situation, the Volunteer Coordinator Handbook explains what to do in each type of situation. But we want you guys to use your best judgment and please do not hesitate to contact Rebuilding Together staff. On Rebuilding Day, you will have a list of our phone numbers so you can get a hold of any or all of us if needed. <laughs> on the bright side, your site might get a visit from the media or a council member. If we know about it beforehand, we will have a staff member present, but if we do not know about it beforehand, then we ask that you show them around the site. Before you show them around, make sure to ask your homeowner for permission to show or discuss the home. Once you get permission, uh, make sure to introduce yourself to the visitor and introduce the homeowner. Explain our process to them, where your team of volunteers is from, a little about the homeowner's story, and what the team is doing there. Make sure to highlight sponsors, skilled labor, and donations. We also ask that you get their contact information before they leave so that we can follow up with them. Thank you for listening and we look forward to working with all of you